Let's hone in on SMU stance. You mentioned NIL. That's a kind of a big piece of why SMU feels like they can be competitive at the next level. They've obviously invested in facilities. They've, you know, taken money off the table to move into the ACC with the hopes and expectation that they'll obviously earn it back in some other revenues and eventually full shares and things like that down the line. Where do you kind of see them now that they have the membership to the ACC? You can. We're all kind of trying to predict the future, but if they can make this happen and at a and have a good little bit of success in a few years or over the next few years, where does that position them maybe relative to some of these ACC schools or in the grand scheme of things? Well, um, you know, the next evolution of the, the athlete compensation model um uh, it's it's obviously it's going to be about uh, you know money and resources and in how much that uh, you can you can pay and SMU has proven that they have quite a bit of money and resources you know um, I mean to get into the SMC S, S, to get in the ACC without taking um, TV revenue for for nine years is is pretty remarkable and should tell you about the resources there, but in order to uh, fill that void, um, there's probably going to be some some impact on what you can pay athletes if you're you're paying to because you're not getting that TV revenue. So that's going to be interesting moving forward. Um, but without a doubt, you know, certainly SMU seems to have the resources to be able to at least survive in the in the next iteration uh, of this, uh, whatever it is, because um, you're probably going to have some sort of tiered, maybe a tiered pay system, you know, where the top 10, 15, 25, maybe 30 uh, can, because their TV deal and their resources and their brand can pay this amount. And then you probably have another group that can pay this amount and another group can pay this amount and, and you know they'll they'll everybody will probably be competing against one another but you'll certainly have the advantage just like now to right to get it's a lot of what's happening now it'll just be legally and it'll be direct pay um from the schools potentially so smu seems to be in that second if at worst that third that kind of third tier 